Good morning and happy St. Patrick's Day. You're back in Cat's Cooking Kitchen. You can find me on YouTube or Facebook. Today, since it's St. Patrick's Day and my husband is Irish, we're going to make a corned beef and cabbage crock pot meal. So I already have, I don't know if you can see it, the corned beef's in the bottom, and then we have some part of this cabbage and two stalks of celery that I just cubed up pretty big. That stuff gets pretty soft. You don't need to put it in little tiny dices. And then we have an onion that I'm going to just slice in big pieces. It'll fall apart as it cooks into half rings. And Got it. I am so sorry. I always forget. I just took the half onion and sliced it. I cut it in half and then I sliced it like in thirds each half. Okay. And we also need carrots. Okay. And we also need the other. I use a half a uh, half cabbage, and then I half it, and then I just slice it. This is how I do it. Some people slice it and then cube it. <laughs> it's always hard to get this last slippery little guy done. Okay, and. Cabbage will cook down too, of course. So, I have a problem because I can't find the pickling spice for my uh, beef broth and sauce to pour over this. So, I'm not very happy because I don't have pickling spice of my own. <laughs> We're in trouble, people. My crock pot is full and I don't have the taters in yet. I'll go down here, we'll get some potatoes. And I bought Yukon, Yukon Gold because you don't have to uh, slice or uh, peel them. I like them. Let me get them washed off real quick. Still can't see. Here we go. Now I'm just going to slice it lengthwise. And then I'm going to slice it across and get four nice pieces. This will not be too bad because once this starts cooking, all that cabbage and stuff is going to cook down. Again, I'm going to go. Length, lengthwise, I'm having trouble finding a sharp knife today, uh, and then crosswise. Okay, I'll wait and I'll add the last potato in a little bit. Now, what we want to do is it takes, I think it said three and a half. It says three cups, but the box I use has four cups in it, so it's getting a little extra broth, and I don't really think that's going to hurt anybody at all. Now, to this, we have to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire. This is the hardest bottle to get open. There we go. I'm going to give it two capfuls. That would be pretty close to a tablespoon. 
now comes the pickling spice. I will add it later when I find it because I haven't been anywhere but in the kitchen. I've looked everywhere and I just can't find it. I don't know where it went. I even looked down the garbage disposal. Was not there. So, I'm going to have some. I don't have any black pepper. So, I'm just going to give it a sprinkle of red pepper flakes. Can't believe I've run out of pepper. I don't think I've ever run out of pepper. Now, we need a half a teaspoon of paprika. I don't need that anyway. <laughs> I'll have to pick it up later. I have my nails done and you can't pick up anything off the floor. So now we need a teaspoon of paprika. I need garlic. And I need Huh. Well, I'm putting garlic in it. I'm sure it's on there somewhere. I'm just not having a very good morning. That's about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, and this up and we need salt it's about a tablespoon of salt I'll add more later if it's needed and that's it for now I'll pour this over this, get it on the crock pot. It has to go 8 to 10 hours. So, I have a couple other videos I want to do today. Fingers crossed I can do them on video. Is Irish soda bread and some Irish shortbread cookies. That's our meal tonight. So, if you're watching this and you want to see the finished product, you're going to have to watch uh, the soda bread bread or something. One of those two will have the completed dish on it because I can't pause this one and record another one. So it's just the way it works. So anyway, this is it. We have corned beef. We have um, cabbage, onions, carrots, celery, and our potatoes. Now it's going to go on the crock pot at, on low till about, let's see, till about 5 or 5.30. That's about nine hours, nine hours and a half. So hang that in there. Keep watching me. I truly do appreciate it. And this is going to be a pot full of food. I think we're going to eat on it for a long time unless you come over and help us eat it. So, all right. Till next time. Thank you so much for watching Cat's Cooking Kitchen. Goodbye, all.